That was We Give Our Hearts to You by none other than Dr. Tarmaine. Let's do this again. Let's do this because I love doing this. It's always good to have a repented heart every single day of the week. So let's give our hearts to God for the first time if you're new to the show or new to being a Christian at all. And let's give let's re-give our hearts back to God again if you are already a Christian. And you just happen to have some slips and falls, and that's okay. It is okay to be hurt. It is okay to have slips and falls. But it's not okay to continue slipping and falling and not repenting of that. So let's pray. Lord, we come back before you in the matchless name of Christ, and we say, we ask you, Lord, that to come back into our hearts, for those of you who are Christian, and to come into our hearts for the first time 
and to be the Lord of our lives and to reign in our hearts and show us the real true meaning of who you are and what it is to be truly a Christian, not one of those hogwash Christians, Lord, where they live holy every Sunday, oh, praise God, oh, hallelujah, and then every other day of the week they live like hell. Lord, that's not being a true Christian. Being a true Christian is not, oh, praise God, praise God, and then you listen to music that talks about having, you know, inappropriate ladies in your bedroom at nighttime and stuff. So that's not what being a true Christian is. A true Christian doesn't mean, Lord, that you praise God on Sunday. Oh, praise God, hallelujah, glory to God, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, glory to God. And like the rest on Sunday and the rest of the week live like hell. So, Lord, we ask you to come back into our lives again for the or come into our lives for the first time if you're a new Christian, and to be Lord of our lives, to bless us, to sanctify us with your precious Holy Ghost, and to be able to show and show us, Lord, not to be able to, but to show us what it is to truly mean to be a godly person, to live a godly life, to show us you and who you truly are. We say to you, Lord, that we are sorry for all of our wrongdoings that we have done, we thank you, Lord, that you have forgiven us because you've died on that cross. We thank you for dying on that cross that we might be free. But we ask for your forgiveness. And we ask you, Lord, for your forgiveness right now. And we repent of all our wrongdoings, Lord, because we're not perfect. We are far from perfect, as Jake has once said, Lord. We are far, I am far from perfect, as you can plainly see. But after all these years, oh, Lord, it's still you and what? Me. So, Lord, we thank you. <clears throat> We give you all the praise, glory, and honor for dying on the cross and rising again so that we might be free, that we might go to that place in heaven. Where as you said, in my Father's house is a, a room with many mansions. <clears throat> if it were not so, then he would have told me. So if it was not so, that God would have said something. So Lord, we think that we get to go to that place with you and live with you forever. We thank you. We praise you. We honor you. It's all in the matchless name of Christ that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's give the Lord a clap offering on that note. Now then, guys, doesn't mean you have to speak in tongues to be a Christian. You do not have to speak an utterance of anything to be a Christian. But if God gives you that utterance and God speaks to you, and it edifies you or somebody else, then do it. Speak it. Because it is in, uh, speaking in tongues is to edify people, not tear them down. That's what tongues are. It's to edify somebody, not tear them down. So if God gives you that utterance, and it might sound weird, it might feel weird, and it might seem weird, but if he gives you that utterance and it, edify, it starts to edify you, then go ahead and speak it because it is of God, not of the devil. And let's get into our last song, our final song of the show. We managed to do eight different songs today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And the last one's by none other than Dudley Smith with That's the Kind of God That I Serve. Enjoy. That's the Kind of God That I Serve by none other than Dudley, Pastor Evangelist Dudley Smith. Enjoy That's the Kind of God That I Serve.
Yeah. 